Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to talk with you about an update for the LEGO Powered Up app, but before we come to that, I want to say sorry for the inactivity in this channel in the last months. I think that I already talked about it in the last video, or in the second last video. Anyways, um, I don't have many projects, which I usually show in my videos, because often the parts of the videos uh, are similar to tutorials, but they usually originate in some projects that I have. And at the moment, I don't do much with LEGO. I still build a few sets here and there, but I don't do any major projects. And I spend more time in the real life. So I uh, simply don't have really topics and not really much motivation for these videos. But I'm sure that that will change in the future at one point. Anyways. There was an update for the LEGO Powered Up app and first of all, in the past update, uh, we got the LEGO Star Wars Boost integration because the official app for LEGO Star Wars Boost got discontinued, the, the R2D2 control layout got transferred into the Powered Up app, but that was only for one of the three robots. And now with the latest update, you can control all three of them with the Powered Up app. This is still no complete. Uh, transfer into the new app or into the Powered Up app from the LEGO Boost or LEGO Star Wars Boost app. But you can control the three models as you wish. There are no missions which were included in the main app and there is no way to change the layout of these interfaces, but I hope that that will change in the future. I don't think that the missions will be transferred and that's pretty bad, but uh, at least we got something and at least now you can use the models only, uh, even if you can only control them as a remote. And maybe the major update was in the create tab. But first, uh, if you had the old version of the app, you will have to go into the settings and change the default palette level to advanced because you, uh, normally you are in an internal palette level where you can see blocks which you shouldn't be able to see. And they're interesting. I've got them here, but they're not uh, officially for the end users. So for the normal canvas, now we've got a new layout for the blocks, but there are no new blocks, I think. There are blocks like start and all of them have new icons and a new design. They are more blocky and not the, so rounded. And there are a few blocks which have icons for the sensors that they can control. For example, here we have a hub on the block as an icon. And for the other blocks, we have the simplified icons. But the blocks themselves are pretty similar. And I think that most of my tutorials should be still able to be followed or should still be able to be followed with the new canvas. I might make a few remakes for a few very popular ones or for the first ones, but I'm not sure on that. I will have to see about that. And there uh, have been a few voices against the update because basically you can say that many tutorials are useless now, but the blocks that are available are still the same. They just look differently. So I don't think that it's such a big deal. I mean, it's, it's bad, but it's not so bad. And we knew for two years that those updates will come, or at least Lego announced it like two years or something ago. It's nothing new for me that this update came. It's only or it's only uh, interesting how long they took for this update. So I don't mind this update that mu as much as, as other people. And I don't think that uh, staying on the old version is, uh, re is really an option instead of installing the new one, because old users can always install the new one and new users will have the new one anyways. So I think that this update will be the way forward. Yeah, and, and I think that now we can take a look at the internal blocks uh, to see which will come in the future. And uh, I think the most interesting one is this one because it's a block for the uh, LED matrix, which was included in the Spike Essential Kit. It's not uh, supported by the Powered Up app as of now, but as you can see, it will probably be supported at one point. There are also a few other internal blocks which aren't available publicly. publicly. Uh, there is the sound block and there are a few timer blocks. And there's the scat port block, which we already have seen in the past and uh, a few other blocks, but it doesn't make much sense to stay in this version because it's even more confusing with the different blocks than the official layout. 
But that's what I wanted to talk about. Again, sorry for not uploading many videos in the past months, but I can't promise any changes on that for the future. And I just wanted to inform you about the update for the Powered Up app. You can, uh, as always, tell me in the comments what you think about this update. Do you like it? Uh, maybe you don't like it or what's your opinion? Like, which parts do you like? Which parts uh, are you against? Please tell me in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching so far. See you in the next video and bye.